Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a new product to test out and review today. I have not even opened it yet. This is the Mio face, I call it a face vacuum. Um, it's called a diamond microdermabrasion and pore extraction skin resurfacing system. Face vacuum is a lot easier to say. So, this is what it looks like. I got this off Amazon. I'm not being paid to make this video. I have nothing to do with this company. I bought this because my sister recommended it to me. I told you in one of my last videos that I'm having a lot of acne issues. Um, and it seems like the older I get, the worse it gets. Kind of going backwards here. So I purchased this. She said it's pretty awesome. So let's see what it does. And if it's true that it really vacuums all the nasty stuff out of your face. Took a shower just now, but I did not wash my face with any kind of soap. I've not been washing with soap. In my last video, I told you about some uh, essential oils that I purchased, and that's what I've been using for my face. So I just washed with water, and then I put the rose oil on my face. So if you're interested in learning about that, watch my other videos. Okay, it comes with this little insert, uh, questions, problems, warning. Can crawl, it says it can cause bruising or markings. Test a small area first on forearm in a way that you feel the suction. Move in a straight line. Wait one hour to evaluate results. I'm not going to do that. If it bruises me, whatever. We'll see. I hope it doesn't, but if it does, it'll be fine. This is what it looks like. It comes with all these little pieces, and it is rechargeable. And I get this thing out, and I hope I don't have to charge it before I use it. Okay, it turned on. I wonder if I can plug it to my computer. <laughs> I can plug it to my computer. Look at that. So, it comes with this little charger. I'll plug this in just to see if it really will charge it. So if you're on the go and you want to clean your face, it's like a phone charger. So you can really just use any kind of Samsung phone charger or Android phone charger, I guess I should say. Okay. So that little blue light comes on to tell you that it is charging. And I'm just going to quickly read this little, it shouldn't be that difficult. So it says to pre-treat, thoroughly cleanse skin with warm water. I did that already. Um... Pat dry with a clean towel. I'll do that. I was dry, but I'm sweating. It's gross. It's probably why I have so many pimples. My thyroid issues are driving me insane. I'm gaining weight like crazy. I can't breathe because I have two cysts in my thyroid. I'm sweating all the time. Okay. I do have a doctor's appointment. I'll update you with the information on that in another video. So, it says to attach the tip, but it already has, let's see, it has this one on here, so I'm guessing, so I don't know the difference. This one is really big, and there's that one, and then there's that awkward shape one, I'm guessing, for like in there, which is probably what I need to use, because I always have, uh, right beside my nose, I always have a lot of little nasty bumps and things. Okay, so this already has the diamond tip on it, so that's what it wants you to do, is a... Uh, Press the on button to activate. Select the desired power level by pressing the speed control button. So, turn it on and make it go faster. Whoa, it goes up to five and then it goes down slowly. I think I'm going to go medium there on three. And it says we suggest beginning on low power to start. So, maybe I should. Drop that down a little bit. I'm going to put it on number two. Begin gliding Mio over one to two treatment sections while holding your skin taut with the opposite hand. So, just to kind of pull. I'm going to, I'm going to go here. I don't know if you can see. But I always get them right here. Right here. Around my nose and right here. It's like the... I got them here too. They're everywhere. So, I'm just going to do this here. Whoa. I felt weird. It went ahead and started vacuuming 
guess I should probably read the directions before I actually stick that on my face. Do not stop and hold Mio over one area of skin. Keep Mio moving at all times. When treatment is complete, rinse your face clean and pat dry. So I don't really know. Okay, you can take this one off. This is like the little scrubber. I don't think I want to use that because I just scrubbed my face with a exfoliating brush. I'm going to take that one off and I'm going to use this and see what happens. Okay. Got it turned on. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump that up to like three. So you're supposed to just be able to. I'm, I'm gonna do it right here, just like a vacuum. I wonder what happens to all that stuff when you. I mean, I can already see it did grab some yucky stuff out of here. That's gross. So it's really just like. A vacuum. I'm gonna bump that speed up a little bit, all the way five. Mm. One hurts a little bit, but mm. but gets rid of all this nasty stuff. Mm. I'm okay with it. I can definitely see. I don't know if that's skin or what that is, but that little <coughs> layer of stuff right there just came out of my face. Mm. So I'm gonna read it. A little more and see what I'm supposed to do with this. How do I clean this stuff out? So. Okay, it tells you what these tips are for too. The, they're all called extracting suction cup tips. It just tells you the opening. Okay. Um, try the medium or large hole at a dip to remove congestion and detoxify pores. These tips are designed to be used in easy to reach places like the chin, cheeks, and forehead. Okay, so these the oval for hard to reach places. That one. Um The around the nose area and the T-zone. So I'm doing this all wrong. Okay. So that one is supposed to be for the nose area and the T-zone. Which is right here. Here's the T-zone. See, next to T. I know this is just what y'all wanted to do is watch me suck dirt out of my face today, right? Pretty gross, but at least you'll know if it works or not. That's that's pretty nasty. Okay. It shuts off automatically after fifteen minutes. This um the oval that other funky shaped one is um also good for hard to reach areas. Okay, so this little exfoliating one is for dry skin patches. Um, which I do have usually on my cheeks and then every now and then on the forehead. So I'm going to turn that one on, but I'm not going to turn it on so high since it has that little diamond micro abrasion, whatever you call it there. Whoa. Oh wow, well, that did, it just, you could see how that dead skin just, um, healed up there. I hope this works, because I've been having so many issues with my face, it's ridiculous. I was hoping I wouldn't get that, since I didn't really have acne in my teenage years, but it seems like 30 is going to kick my butt. That little pimple thing there, maybe I can get rid of it. So this just kind of scrubs and vacuums at the same time. I like it. I like the way it feels. Do a little exfoliating there. My cheeks are usually the driest parts. So it's hard to find a soap because it either dries me out or gives me more pimples. 
So I just stopped using soap and started using essential oils, which so far seems to be working. All right. I don't know how to tell on that one, which if it actually took a bunch of stuff out, there's some there's some goo in there. Okay. So what I want to know is what I'll do with it afterwards. It gives you a lot of tips on, I mean, uh, well, tips on the tips. <laughs> tips on which tip is best for which, um, oh crap, <laughs> I was supposed to put a filter on there. So that answers my question about, but it didn't, unless I skip that. It doesn't say on there. I hope it already has a filter in there because. Okay, it does. Good deal. It has a filter. So, since I didn't tell me to add a filter, so I hope I didn't mess it up already. Filters. Mio comes with 20 filters, one in place under the treatment head. It is important to use a new filter for each treatment to ensure optimal results. And you wouldn't want to leave that stuff in there anyways. That's gross. Um. To change the filter, remove the treatment head and insert into base. The clear plastic ring included are changed as needed if they break. Remove the plastic tip and use tweezers to remove and replace around the head. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this on my face. And then I'm going to take that filter out and see what it looks like. Here's the little filters. They're just small little black filters and they have extra rings in case the one on here breaks. So, I'm just going to keep doing this, and then I'll take that filter off so you can see. And crank that speed all the way up. Ah. I have a lot of issues on my cheeks, but I'm going to go ahead and do this all over to see how much nasty stuff I can get out of my face. I am sweating so bad. It's gross. If you have one of these, let me know how it works for you. Maybe I can get a little closer and you can see. It is taking some stuff off of there. I'm going to take off this. Ew, that is getting really disgusting stuff right there by my nose. I told you, that's one of my worst spots. Oh, it wasn't on full blast, but now it is. Okay, so it's definitely sucking out a lot. Of, that's nasty. Look at that. That thing is covered in just grossness. I feel like I'm shaving my face or something. Ew. That is really bad. Okay. Pretty sure y'all have had enough of me vacuuming my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that filter so you can see what the filter looks like. That is nasty. 
So, so far I can say, yeah, this thing works pretty good, because that stuff is not on my face anymore. And I'm gonna pause this and get some scissors so I can change the filter. Scissors, okay? So I have to take off this plastic thing, which that's gross, so I'm gonna have to clean that. And okay, so the filter it does have some nasty stuff on there. It's not as bad as the little tip, I guess. After you do the whole face, I'm pretty sure it takes a while to do the whole face. It will be pretty full. I'm going to go ahead and put a new one in. And I'm going to keep doing this, but I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me do that. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I got this off of Amazon. I can put the link in the description box. It was only $30. I had a gift card, so it didn't cost me that much. Um, you can get them at Walmart, too, but I'm trying to avoid the stores as much as possible. So, today, first time using it. I give it a 10. I like it a lot. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. If it breaks or anything like that, I'll give you an update and let you know if it is uh, worth the money. So, thanks for watching. If you got any products that you'd like for me to review, let me know. I'll go out and buy them and test them out live on YouTube. Thank you.